Hello brawlers and welcome to the Baku Talk News, I'm Haru Ren. It was announced at the end of March that Ventus Knight was stepping down from his position as Bakugan's community manager, and seemingly going by his wording, it might appear he has left Spin Master entirely. The circumstances of his departure has become the subject of numerous speculations, with no definitive answer from him or even Spin Master. Whether he was fired, he left voluntarily, or reassigned, no one knows. Well, we might have sort of an idea of what became of that because Kelly Nova on the Wiki Discord has said, I don't think VK was let go. From what little I heard, it seems like it was more so his choice. Though I'm not 100% on that, Jet talked to VK after the announcement, but it was a private conversation, and while I did ask if he had been fired or left on his own, Jet didn't say anything definitive because private conversation. They had him doing a lot of other stuff outside Bakugan and community and social media management, which tends to happen at corporations in the US, which is very annoying when the job you apply for is described as one thing and then ends up being a ton of other things. VK's whole deal is unfortunate, but really didn't sound like he got fired to me. Alas, speculation doesn't do any good. I just hope he's doing well. Kelly does make an excellent point though. A huge corporation like Spin Master will more than likely assign you to a job and then have you juggling other jobs as well. So it would not be a huge shocker if Ventus Knight said that's enough and left on his own accord. It would also partially explain the lack of activity from official Bakugan social medias. However, as Kelly said, this is still speculation and nothing is still made clear to us. We reached out to Ventus Knight for comment on the situation, but as of the time of this recording, he has still not responded. And honestly, I doubt we will get a response because it's his account is more than likely run by Spin Master. Regardless though, we once again wish Ventus Knight well in all his future endeavors and thank him again for all he's done to help the community. But on to our next story, it seems we may have the next wave of Geogons revealed. Bakuslim 2 k on Instagram, if you remember, found new wave of Geogon Rising products like the Diamond Dragon and Ultra Starter Pack and revealed a checklist for the next wave of products coming out, and has now revealed the next wave of new products that are coming out as shown at the back of the packaging, presumably behind the Diamond Mantra Pot product. Seems we will be getting Chaos Hyenix, Auralus Mutasec, Darkest Stingzer, and some new ones like Baba Drill, Insectra, and Mfrog. And actually on the wiki discord, user Ren, no relation by the way, posted Amfrog's Geogon card at the end of March and this is interesting because it's a 4 cost, 1800 6 damage with Victor T. The T is a very unknown mechanic with many people joking that it's a T pose, but this is going to be a brand new thing and not something we have seen before. There is no official ruling about it yet, whether this is a new ability or a short generalization of something that's already established. We asked if we could get some clarity about it, but as of the time of this recording, they have not responded. We will be sure to update you once we have an answer as to what this is. Ivan Kevin has posted on Instagram that Darkest Stingzer will have 1300 B power, but no other details were given. And also, the Elemental Spartillion, which looks pretty cool with its translucent plastic in certain parts of the mold mixed with just solid gold on its main body. And on the subject of more new releases, DM Wrath on the Bakugan Reddit found an Amazon sponsored listing for a pre-order of the Geoforge Dragonoid, the capstone toy for Geogon Rising. But right now, as of the time of this recording, if you went to the actual listing, you get the dog error message, meaning this is not available to order, either it's not available yet, or they're not taking anymore. But at the very least, we do have a time frame for its release because the listing says it will be released May 31st, 2021. And as we've seen with past Capstone stories, it could be sooner or later, but at least we get a general time frame. And also keep in mind, Villock is apparently also having a combiner toy like Dragonoid, so for the first time in this reboot, we will be getting a villain Capstone as well because Ivan Kevin apparently posted it but quickly deleted it before anyone got a screen cap. But he has said that he will be up uploading the Villa Combiner back up, so another reason to keep an eye on Ivan Kevin. And in our final story, it is being reported by the Bakugan Wiki that Spin Master's Mexican headquarters has announced an event called Baku Fest. The announcement was made on the Mexican Spin Master's Facebook page with the translated caption, Something incredible is coming to Spin Master, expect news very soon. Thank you Google Translate. What this could mean is anyone's guess, but no other details are released so far. This seems like the equivalent to Spin Master's past event, BakuCon, that was only held in 2010, with multiple regional tournaments for the game, but as the Bakugan Wiki has pointed out, the poster includes Monsuno, which is not a Spin Master property. The poster also includes the legacy version of Dragonoid, so this is quite a big mystery and a very curious event, which begs the question as well, is this event going to happen in other places of the world, or just Mexico? Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Ay caramba!
But to leave off of this video, the first half of G-Gun Rising has been put onto Netflix and Spin Master, seemingly taking the community's advice, also posted the first episode of G-Gun Rising onto their official YouTube channel yesterday. So if you haven't had a chance to watch G-Gun Rising, now is the best time. There is actually a mispackaging epidemic that's going on right now. You can check that video up by pressing the video to your left, as well as watching my review of Geogun Rising episode 13. Support Bakutak by pressing the thumbs up and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, and thank God for Rapid Fire. Bye.